All right, Kira. Well, you were pretty depressed um, on Thursday when you were sitting down doing this paper. Um, you didn't do very well at all on the homework, and you were away for the first paper one. So I don't really know what the issue is. But in the summer, you were 120, which is only one mark off a of grade C. So you're certainly capable of doing this. So I'm not quite sure what the problem is. Anyway, let's see how you got on. That's fine. Forty six is correct, and that's correct. Hundred and nineteen is correct. Eighty one is correct. And here you have missed out fourteen and seven. So you're only going to get one mark there. For this, you have to say seven thousand. It's in the thousands column, but its value is 7,000. If it was a three, it would be 3,000 and so on. Here, they're looking for a prime number. If it's got a tens digit of five, that means it's gonna be in the fifties. So you're looking for a number in the fifties that nothing else goes into apart from itself and one. And the two numbers are 53 or 59. That one's right. The six out of 16 is right, but you're not going to get full marks because you have to give it in its simplest form because you can divide both of those by two in its simplest form it's three eighths so total for that page two four seven ten twelve pence is correct um, but you're not explaining where that's come from so there are three marks for the answer for the maths there's two marks for explaining and you're not going to get those 10 6 8 11 is correct 5 for the page <coughs> 11 isn't the mode hockey is the mode because it's got 11 as its frequency which is higher than everything else so you need to say hockey to get that mark here you need to show that that is labeled frequency or number of students or something like that so you will lose one of the four marks for that 10 is correct but it's out of 35 because there are 35 students in the survey so only one mark for that <coughs> 55 is correct that is correct that is correct that is correct but 2.5 divided by 10 isn't 5 it's two and a half so you'll lose a mark there six seven for the page 50 is right the units are wrong but it doesn't ask you for them so that doesn't matter um, so you get the three marks for the perimeter the area um, here you should write down the units and if you'd just written any number centimeter squared you would have got the unit mark uh, 0 0.40 is correct uh, those are wrong 0 0.3 is 30 percent and you would write that as 30 out of 100 40 percent you'd write as 40 out of 100 so only one mark out of the four there uh, for for that page five is right um, right the problem that you got here is you have to play the game four times you've played the game ten times so you won't get the marks for that and similarly here you have to play the game five times you have um, played the game 16 times. Six foot is two meters. The height of the bus is 4.2 meters. So I can see there that you've doubled and a bit more. So that would be okay. You get your four marks for that. Two over there, six for the page. We'll do some work on this, but on angle properties, but uh, it is something you can have a look at yourself.
This is what we've been practicing in the last few lessons. Four is correct. And at that point, you had your mark down. Very nice flower, no marks. So I think you've done better than 20, but let's see. 10, 15, 22, 26, 32, 34, so 34. Well, it's down to you really, how hard you want to work to bring this improvement back up again. That's a grade F, it's four marks off a grade E. Um, but you can do better than that, otherwise there's no way you would have had 120 in your summer exams. So it's down to determination, Kira, rather than giving up like you did on Thursday.